Very good, nice, good stretch right here. These Special Olympic hopefuls are building their skills and confidence in the water, thanks to the Y. The DREAM program is in full swing now with a very special mission. Well, the DREAM program is dedicated to providing opportunities for people with disabilities to participate in all types of organized sports that they would normally not have opportunity to. But we also reach out and we do arts and crafts and music and things like that. These adults are having the time of their life and practice does make perfect. Well, we see significant Im improvement in our swimmers just with the practice. One of the things that we've learned with uh, the drink through the DREAM program is when all our athletes are participating in weekly activities, they get stronger and stronger. In the, the athletes know the value of these sessions in the water. Well, um, I grew up swimming in my grandpa's pool, uh, so I learned better here. Like, I, I learned how to, how to go faster and stuff like that. Like, just... Hard explained, but it's cool. The Y opening its doors to this unique program means gold, silver, and bronze medals could be just around the corner. The YMCA has given us an opportunity for our swimmers who participate in Special Olympics of Mississippi to enhance their skills and just get better and better as they prepare for the March 18 uh, swim meet with the Special Olympics that is here and then for Keesler over in May. Dream Program Director Billy Dungan has a very personal connection to this endeavor because it hits very close to home. Well, I have a daughter, Kelsey, who's 29 years old and has Down Syndrome. She's participated with the Dream Program for several years now, and she's also uh, a good swimmer participating with the Special Olympics. But here at the YMCA last year, she increased her speeds to the best ever. High fives and plenty of smiles for a job well done. That's today. Next week, they'll be right back at it again. Doug Walker, reporting for your YMCA.